Hey Pisces, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a general reading for your current energy. So let's just jump right in and see what messages we get for you. And I am using the Light Seer's Tarot. And this is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus energy. Or sorry, placements. Wow. I really do have to say the most satisfying thing is when the first card is the the card that resembles the sign I'm reading for. So the first card that came through was the High Priestess, and that is you, Pisces. We have the world at the bottom of the deck. So it feels like there could be something very, um, very life-changing or very um, important or significant that you're navigating at this time. And it feels life-changing because if you think about it, everything that we go through, even the small things, change our life, right? Every day we experience things that will never make life the same. And I feel like right now you are embracing that in a very um, specific sense and maybe even in a personal sense where it feels like you're still trying to understand why something is happening or you know what it's meant to be for or what is the true outcome or the true nature of what i'm going through so with the world it feels like a lot of things are starting to change for you at this time pisces but i feel like right now your main thing is you're trying to understand it you're trying to make sense of it you're trying to figure out you know the the kinks you're trying to see how it all fits together maybe this is with relation to a connection a relationship maybe your career maybe your life path right it's like you're really trying to understand what it all means or maybe you're just simply asking yourself existential questions right now and you're saying what is the, what is the meaning of life what is my purpose in life so a lot of things are coming through here but it feels like with the world and then the lovers at the bottom of the deck um, which is Gemini, maybe right now there is something that you feel very close to, but you're trying to understand its true significance or its true meaning for you. We have the Eight of Swords, Seven of Pentacles, the High Priestess, and the Six of Wands. So it's interesting, we're seeing six, seven, eight, right? It's kind of like we're seeing all those numbers. Um, it's like a succession, right? So it's like something is happening one after another. And I feel like with the high priestess, with the energy of your intuition, you're kind of like, okay, that happened, then that happened. And now this, what is that supposed to mean? I feel like you're listening to your intuition. You're following your gut feeling. But I also feel like maybe we need to pick it apart to not make it so, so complicated, right? I feel like maybe right now it feels confusing. Um, so let's see, we have to go ahead and first clarify that Eight of Swords because it's the only card that stands out because it doesn't really match the rest of it, right? Maybe with the Seven of Pentacles, there's a little bit of doubt or, you know, maybe, you know, wondering if something is really going to grow, right, from the seed that you've planted. But that Eight of Swords is the only card that really resembles discomfort, frustration, pain, right? A feeling of being, you know, strangled or suffocated. So let's see what is that about. Okay, we got cards flying everywhere. All right, so we have the Emperor at the bottom of the deck, which is Aries. So maybe you have Aries placements. Maybe you're connecting to an Aries. We have the Knight of Swords, Ten of Wands, and the Eight of Wands. So maybe with that Eight of Swords, there is a situation right now where you could be um, getting ready to make somewhat of a change or kind of feels like you're going somewhere maybe you're going on a trip maybe you're going to a unfamiliar destination maybe a familiar one um, and it kind of feels like you're getting ready to do this you're preparing for what feels like a journey i feel like with the eight of wands you could be getting a lot of information maybe communication from the universe maybe you feel as though this is where you have to go right it's kind of like this is part of your calling and maybe with that knight of swords you're kind of you know feeling as though you have to keep chasing this otherwise you know you feel like maybe you're going to lose time you know it kind of feels like there's a lot of of thinking going on where it's like you're putting all of these things 
um, into perspective. And maybe that eight of swords is you feeling as though something is escaping you, right? And, and I'm being, you know, kind of told here to think about the actual card itself and the fact that, you know, she, the actual person here, isn't tied up or anything, but the reflection that she sees in the mirror is Right? So it's almost like there's a difference between the reality and then the perception. So I feel like the universe wants to, you know, almost help you liberate that. Liberate the, the perspective that makes you feel as though you're not free to do what you wanted to do. You know, it's kind of like there's something about you getting ready to, to go on this trip. I mean, you've got everything that you need. You know, you're, you're, you're chasing something. So you really want it, right? This is about you saying, I'm not going to stop until I get it. And then that eight of wands, you could be receiving a lot of confirmation, reassurance, signs, right? Downloads from the universe. And behind the emperor is the star. Then it is death, which is Scorpio. Then it's the eight of pentacles. Then it's the moon. Kind of like there's something telling you this is what you need to do. It's like even despite the unknowns, you know, there's, there's work to be done here. There's a rebirth, right? Waiting for you. And then the star. It's like there's something really, really big about this and how much it can change your life. So I feel like the universe doesn't want you to feel as though you are tied up or restricted or, you know, maybe you, f you have like imposter syndrome, right? Maybe you feel as though you're not really ready for this, but I feel like the universe is saying you are Pisces. You just have to, you know, kind of reframe your thoughts a little bit. Let's go ahead and clarify the High Priestess. So we have the Four of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Then we have the Four of Cups, Six of Pentacles, and the Queen of Pentacles. So maybe right now your intuition is trying to um, guide you towards a decision that may be related to your finances, right? It feels like maybe right now you're trying to decide whether or not you want to make an investment on something, whether or not you really want to take something the next step um, further. Because I feel like with that Four of Pentacles, you're, you're kind of contemplating here with this energy of maybe I need to keep this to myself. Maybe I need to wait until I have a little bit more or, I, or until I feel more secure or stable to share some of these Pentacles with, you know, whatever it is that you're, you're thinking of giving to or investing in. Right, and behind the Four of Pentacles, we have Temperance, which is Sagittarius. So maybe you're, you're also considering giving yourself more time. So with the Four of Cups, I feel like this is you really thinking about it. You're not about to make any kind of impulsive decision because that's not really something that you want to do. Right, you want to give yourself time to really think about it. And I feel like with the Six of Pentacles, maybe what you're trying to make a decision about or invest in has the potential to give a lot back. Right, maybe there is a huge return of investment. Um, in this but right now with the queen of pentacles i feel like you need more certainty you need more clarity right you're looking for just a little bit more of that reassurance all right let's clarify the six of wands we have ten of cups all right, we have the Page of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, and the King of Swords. So I kind of feel like you're not alone in this. I feel like part of you is maybe waiting for someone else to give you the green light. Like maybe you're waiting for somebody to say, you know what, Pisces, I'm ready to do this with you. Because I do feel like that Three of Pentacles involves teamwork. I feel like there is, you know, this sort of idea that you and someone else are about to do something really amazing, right? So maybe a part of you is waiting for the reassurance from that particular individual. And with the Page of Wands and the King of Swords, it feels like this is you being open. You're open to experience something new. You're open to give to this. But I feel like with that King of Swords, maybe you're dealing with an air placement, um, Gemini, Aquarius, Libra. But then again, the Queen of uh, sorry, the King of Swords could also just represent the fact that right now you're um, maybe you're really considering taking a step in a direction that is very new to you. 
And so it feels like you just want to make sure that your efforts are going to be recognized or that you're going to be in a place where you can really grow and develop. Um, but again, this could also just be the person that you're waiting confirmation from. You know, it's kind of like I'm in a slump here because I feel like the page of wands is representing the fact that right now you don't want to limit yourself from doing something. It's like you want to go and make this happen, right? You want that success. You want that recognition. Maybe this is more about someone telling you to wait, right? Maybe this is someone that you're working with and they're saying, no, Pisces, we got to give it a little bit more time. I feel like, you know, as as I've come to this conclusion here, I feel like with the Ten of Pen uh, sorry, Ten of Cups, uh, Page of Cups behind that, it's almost like the universe is saying maybe, maybe that's not such a bad thing, you know, is giving yourself time. Kind of like trusting the universe could also be trusting yourself and trusting the people around you that have your best interest at heart. So it's kind of like if you've been in contemplation mode and not really sure, I feel like this is the the answer that you need at this time so really love this for you hope you take it all in and if you like this reading and it resonated please give it a like please subscribe and i will see you in the next one